Captain Mitch McCarron. Expecting a second child very shortly, so let's hope everything goes smoothly there. I think he's got a little boy, and he wouldn't mind a little girl. In the rack, hang the boots up. <laughs> it's always dangerous if you get the two boys and you still think you might have a little girl and you go again. What is this throwback to with the bullets? Jersey, well, if you go right back to the origins of the NBL 1979, this was there. It's in the competition. It's going to be interesting to see. Uh, Soto. Baines. What sort of influence can he have tonight? Steal. DJ Mitchell. Bounce pass. White pulls up. On target. That's a big step. Let's talk about your team in the third quarter. Oh, I did. Yeah, i got to be, got to be biased right now. You know that thing. Let's just say your, your team is good tip in there from the big fella. Another one who continues starting opportunity he gets. He does provide a nice flavour as White tries to go back to back. 11 rebounds. Career high by five the last time these two met. Cleveland. Soto underneath. Easy finish. And that's what I'm looking forward to seeing here. Sobe. You go to work. Good defense from the 36ers. Drimmick. Franks. Knocks it down. Yeah, it's danger time. Oh, that's a confident man right there shooting the ball. Remain at the helm as Clark on the drive. Good defense from Baines. Kadi. He's in good form. Now, this is something we have to watch in the outlet of those weapons out there. They need to lock in on the defensive end. It, it's definitely a, a good point you made there. Oh, I'd like a cheeseburger. There's your code base. And that's it. that just can't happen. That's just a one-on-one -on -one break to back possessions where he's got to the hoop for a layup. Promising start from the bullets. Drimmick on the drive. Offensive foul. Who would have thought without Keanu Pinder that the Taipans would have got themselves into this position. There's a great finish. Jason Kadee is hot early. What do you see? He's been here. A little bit of a vocal artist himself, so tries to get a few calls out of the referees, but he did a great job the other night. And tonight he started. And to thank his Antonius Cleveland. He's keeping you fed tonight. As Baines can't get that left hook to fall, but foul is called. Clark and Soto. Trimmick. They've lost it. And off the foot. It's up the three. Can't bank it. Baines the rebound. Nine points. Sobi bounce past Kadi. Oh, he's he's on just one. on. He's on one. He's warm. He's getting warm. The other night. Oh, no. More. DJ Mitchell. Great. He went from being attached to Kadi to trying to help a teammate out of fly all the way to the free throw line, but then had to get back. So Clark Johnson, game number 410 in the NBL. Cleveland into the paint and a beautiful finish. Go straight down his back and so that, but it's the finish. Jesus. Other guys and their problems and franchise problems, and he was kind of everyone's sounding board. Matt locked him basketball wise. That's a good point, Derek. Franks pulls the trigger. Player. They have to focus on just playing. Ball drop game. Johnson comes back to him. Second attempt that doesn't go, but. And that's got to come back to the leaders from Adelaide. You've got to set a tone as a leader. DJ's out there, as we spoke about, 410 games. No Mitch McCarron tonight, who is their captain. But you need to see that energy from your absolute leaders because oh, it's going to flow through the rest of the team. And if you don't have it early, it's going to be hard to find. Sunday, Dutch Construct. DJ, he's been doing that his whole career. You can do that. Harrison, baseline. Kicks it out to Sobey. Sobey with the left hand, doesn't fall. Johnson the rebound, dream transition. Bounce pass to Detch. Detch sets the feet, comes inside. And it doesn't go. Franks now 
Cleveland. This short shot. Sobey, the fake. And there we go. That is beautiful basketball as Gorjok Gak finishes to help off that strong side corner. Cleveland. Aggressive. That's a man's take right there. <laughs> Got to meet him at the top. He is a freak athlete. Gak just says, oh, I'll meet you there. I'm not sure when he just so far. Oh, man. Kadee takes contact. And the finish. And one. And they are up and loving it. Ditch. Harrison Cleveland. Cleveland into the paint. Doesn't fall underneath the putback. Oh, it's a great job. And you love that from Hiram Harris. Someone who doesn't always get as much, you know, just sets a tone on both ends of the floor. Sunday Ditch drives and comes up with two. That was the first miss tonight. Good Statman into the game. Bright young prospect. I'll tell you what was interesting. For those last couple of substitutions, Harrison and Gak. Hey, that's just too easy. Thanks of Gak's minutes. Now that Brisbane have been fully healthy in the big man department, really going, reducing to zero. And it's just thrown out a different look. Ian Clark with the Adelaide 36ers right now. Just the, the level of play that he's at right now, just compared to a bit of his form last year from the Sydney Kings. You can see there's quite a difference right now, and maybe it comes down to the team, the coach coming in late. Uh, might be some physical or, or some mental stuff there, just adjusting to you know a new franchise. But you know you want to try and see him find some form for Adelaide. Hey, the All NBL team in 1990. It's a big knockdown. A bit of wonder for three. DJ Mitchell. Took him on. Down the other end. That's the speed I'm talking about. The bullets are out and running. Yeah, shots up super quick. Clark kicks it out to Johnson already with one three made tonight. Not this time. Bullets, but not tonight. Excellent start. And this man has been a key to it. Jason Kadee caught it. Manager. Oh, wouldn't you leave Jason Kadee in? Good defense taken away by Clark. Cleveland. And great bit of work there from the Bullets. Tyler Johnson pulls up the three, knocks it down. Biggest lead. But this is what I'm talking about. Yes, it's probably not in their scout. They're trying to get through a play, but you want to be on the front foot. You want to dictate where Brisbane have to go. That's what I spoke about the last three minutes of that Perth Wildcats had their bench on at the time. But you don't want to take a backward step. You want to be on the front foot and really set a tone, be aggressive. That's more punishment. Adelaide just need to find an answer on defense right now. Communication's low, low right now, and Brisbane looks great attacking the hoop. Soto said no as Sobi. Well, Sobi tried to do the guard thing going against the big. You'll see here, just tries to jump in to throw Kai Soto's balance off. A little bit more than that with the length and athleticism of Kai Soto. Turnovers, that's an outstanding, as DJ pulls up and misses, but that's an outstanding first quarter. Very efficient offensively. They held Adelaide to 20. They're finally playing a style where they can win games against better teams. Saito up to eight points now for the 36. Really shot in the shot clock for Ian Clark. We know he can make that. DJ Mitchell, and again, it's going to be a foul over the back of Tyrell Harrison. Brisbane Bullets are coming down, and if they don't see it, like the first ball screen happens with 16 seconds on the shot clock, and they get a steal out of it. White, Drimmick fights hard, can't win it back. Sobey now. Johnson. Passes along the baseline, Harrison puts up the shot, no good. Franks kicks it ahead, Drimmick. Oh, what a bit of defense, so Nathan slows him down. And this is the effort Brisbane have got right now. They're running back on defense, they're blocking shots, their energy's up, they're picking up full court. This is a prison boards we haven't really seen to date this year, but this is the brand of basketball they've been searching for all year. From defense to offense, Sobey can't get the... Clark goes at them, takes contact. Gives us a chance to have another look at this chase down block from Nathan Sobey. Drewick wanted a goal 10, straight away. The ref, as we have a look at the Amy replay, might have got away with the travel too. 
bit from Nathan. So we... Yeah, he absolutely spot on there, Pete. It's one of those, it's a double-edged sword, it really is. You have a team that's, you know, very volatile, very vulnerable to, to playing a certain way of maybe a little bit selfish, a little bit, oh, it's just... Sunday ditch. Clark goes to the floor. He is copying a bit of content. Sobe. Oh, what a pass, what a cut. What a finish. DJ Mitchell, the two-hand jam, and Nathan Sobe. The ball, Nathan Sobe had every right to, to take that shot, and the Adelaide 36 just try to respond with a quick three of their own. DJ Mitchell just called Robert Franks having a nap. Not behind his eyesight. Sobe did the rest. Oh. That has come off the 36ers. 27 20 at quarter time. Sobe patient. Hasn't got much time left. Two seconds on the shot clock. Shot was short. Well, Thames. Not just us right now, but everyone from past and, and present that, you know, we're a part of this organisation. And I think uh, Brisbane. Nathan right now, Sobe. Well, that's three or four threes that the LA 36ers have taken in this first half. Quarter and a half into this match, only have three points each in it. That's going to help. DJ is going to go to the line for three shots. Staines is right there in your three. Who else would you have mic'd up in the NBL if you did? From a pure entertainment perspective, inside perspective, Sobe doesn't go. Johnson the rebound. Sean Bruce. Yes, yeah. Uh, the antagoniser. I'll tell you one for it. Speaking of staying in, staying in New South Wales, Deng Deng loves to chat. <laughs> Tommy, you're more a Deng Deng has got a lot to say. Believe and I love yep. Good character. Get him in the huddles. Couple triples. A few left hand hooks. But it's just you applaud the way he, he plays and brings energy, but at the same time. Um, you know, you've got to match that energy sometimes. You know, he's an extremely talented player and he's got a very, very bright future, um, as well as an incredible game going on right now. But well, I couldn't come up with the 36ers. This is not panning out as they would like at all. Sobe into the paint, kicks it out. Just a little bit of you watching at home or in the venue. So close, the atmosphere, spectacular. Jerseys are adding to it. Warren Harris underneath. No good. Baines. Baines. But Baines. What you focus on right now. Ian Clark at the point guard position. You know, Anthony Jamik and Frank's out there. Adelaide's taking a lot of quick shots, a lot of poor shots. They are missing their captain and their leader as Warren Harris gets a little lucky there, but you'll take that. Mitch McCarron just to slow things down, try and set up some offense, try and get everybody. Jason Kadee, not out there for the Bullets at the moment. 14 points in the first quarter, no points in the second quarter. Froley getting his opportunity. It's the handle almost. That's a good offensive foul. Yeah, a little push. But again, that's what I expected to see from Adelaide from the opening tip, that full court pressure. You just take Brisbane out. Harris and Drewick. Johnson. Cleveland. Hasn't been overly influential. Clark drives, feeds Harris. That's more like it. Arjun got out to 13 points in the second quarter. Now back to six. Tyler Johnson is up the floater. Again. Clark pulls up for three. Baines the rebound. Trivik is almost flat moving. Back in to help the offense. Harris. The block, but the foul. Correct. It was clean up top. Yeah, I'm coming to look at Aaron Baines. Right here. On the offensive rebound. Just ever so slightly went across on. It doesn't go, but Soto the rebound. He's on the floor now. We've only seen Jason Kadee for 10 minutes total in this first half after he scored 14 points. Barely missed. It's tight. He puts his hand up. Let him sit for a minute. Kadee. And the follow up. From Harrison. And that's Rawls too. Floats that ball up, understanding his big rolling down. He rolling down and, and, and just makes a really good play. Oh wow. So they're just 